We're back at 643. As people try to manage the COVID-19 pandemic here in the U.S., Americans are also dealing with a crisis we don't talk too much about. A new CDC survey finds almost 41% of respondents are struggling with mental health issues right now. These can be issues related to the pandemic or measures put into place to contain it. The group interviewed more than 5,000 adults at the end of June, and they found that 31% say that they've experienced anxiety or depression. 26% say that they've experienced trauma or stress-related disorder symptoms. 11% said that they would they had uh, seriously considered even suicide. This issue isn't only impacting adults, it affects kids too. And schools are often a place where kids can find support for concerns about mental health, like anxiety, depression, or even those thoughts about suicide. We sat down with leaders from the Madison School District to hear how they're planning to keep kids safe while they're at home this fall. All right, gentlemen, let's begin. Um, so we know that schools act as sort of a safe space for our students, but with this online start to the school year, what is the district doing to keep students safe? Great question, Leah, and that's something we've been thinking about for, for months now. And uh, obviously every school year starts with a focus on relationships and building strong communities. And we want every one of our students to feel safe and a, a true sense of belonging. And this year that's more true than ever. Uh, we know that our virtual spaces won't be exactly the same, but we do believe that we can create those same strong relationships uh, and build strong connections uh, and community in our virtual spaces. Uh, COVID has obviously resulted in high levels of stress for most of us. And when you combine the stress with, in some cases, some existing mental health concerns or other sources of distress, including race-based trauma, uh, it, it becomes even more critical that we're ready to provide a full range of intentional supports. Um, an example of that was with racial trauma over the course of the summer, um, our, our coaches provided affinity spaces for many of our students uh, to process that. Um, helping again leverage strong existing relationships and virtual spaces to, um, you know, to process and heal. So the director of the CDC had said in a recent interview with an institute that suicide rates among teens are increasing. He did not provide where he he received that data, but is. A, this a trend you're seeing, and B, is this something you're also worried about? Given that we're acknowledging the high levels of stress on, on almost everyone at this time, it's it's logical to expect that there would be an uptick. Um, our district uses a program that does screen our students' web activity for anything that involves self-harm, uh, bullying, uh, any other threats or suicidal ideation. Uh, and it's it's just a simple web filter so that whenever they're on, you know, their district devices are, are logged into their student account, um, that software will trigger if they see something that's concerning. Um, and then through our programming, we have um, therapists that will actually then look for context of what that search included. And when needed, 24 seven, they'll then alert uh, our, our district team so that we can intervene. And um, that data would provide us a pretty, a, a pretty true measure of an uptick. And we haven't seen an uptick over the course of the summer. Uh, some of that can also include, you know, that it's summer and, and students are, are perhaps on their devices less. Um, but we feel that we do have a pretty strong support system to, to be proactive and intervene uh, whenever a student is starting to feel some of those things. So we are continuing the conversation here on News 3 Now with more of this interview up on channel3000.com. But we also want to take a minute and provide some more resources. If you or someone you know needs help, you can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. That is at 800-273-TALK or message the crisis text line at 741-741. Both programs provide free confidential support 24-7.